morning, students and staff. Welcome to the Hayes Morning News. I'm your host, Abby Bertinoli. Today is Wednesday, March 9th, 2016. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Girls Across has pictures today, Wednesday the 9th, after school. Bring your practice gear in case we practice after pictures are over. Pick up time is 6.30. Hello, my name is uh, Coach Poindexter. I'm here to talk about spring track. March the 15th is our first day of practice. We'll be meeting here at Hayes Middle School after school until uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, Sign-ups are taking place this week in the cafeteria. You need to talk to Coach Bishop. Uh, she can get you signed up uh, and uh, we'll get a competitor number assigned to you for tryouts. You must try out for spring track uh, and that starts on March the 15th. You also must have a sports physical. If you played another sport this year, you probably have a sports physical on file, but we have to double check and make sure that it's up to date. A sports physical is good for one calendar year. So that means if you had a sports physical in August of last summer, it's good until August of this year. Not, it, it's not good for one school year, it's one calendar year. So that is uh, spring track starts on March the 15th. Uh, Sign-ups are taking place this week in the cafeteria. Uh, if, uh, we'd encourage you to try out and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much. If I had to describe dance blue in a hashtag, I would say hashtag the best thing ever. Hashtag fantastic. Hashtag empowerment. Life changing. Hashtag selfless. Hashtag best 24 hours of your life. One campus united for the kids. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag FTK. Hashtag unforgettable. Hashtag spunky. Hashtag life changing. Dance Blue is hashtag insanely awesome culture. FTK forever. Hashtag for the kids and also hashtag until the battle is won. Hashtag joy. Hashtag sit down for what? It could be hashtag family. Hashtag can't stop, won't stop. Enthusiasm. Hashtag GOAT, because it's the greatest organization I've ever been a part of. FTK, it's just that simple. Um, you know, it's everything we do, so I think that's all we need. Buenos dias, muchachos. Welcome to another edition of Word of the Week. I'm Miss Juanita Wordsworth. First, I'd like to announce the winner of last week's contest. Wes Davis submitted the following sentence. I was having a lucid dream about losing my dignity when I brought in my obsolete typewriter. Congratulations, Wes. There were several good entries, boys and girls, but remember, you must spell the words correctly and use them in a logical sentence. We'll have another contest coming up soon. This week, our word is facilitate. Facilitate is a verb, which means to make easier, to assist, or to help along. For example, the use of a dictionary would have facilitated Mary's comprehension of the passage. Now, those of you who study Spanish, I bet you recognize the first five letters of facilitate. Look at your friends in the room and tell them what facil means in Spanish. Excelente, that's right, it means easy, very similar to the English meaning. Well, that's all for today, boys and girls. Stay tuned and keep studying that vocabulary.
Good morning, and welcome back to the reading room. This morning, our book is called No Summit, Out of Sight. This book is about Jordan Romero. He's a young man that has climbed the highest mountain on all seven continents. And at the age of 15, he had climbed the tallest mountains there were. So this book is an exciting book about avalanches, frostbite, hypothermia, acute mountain sicknesses. Mount Everest has many dangers and the peak has taken the lives of many people. Many of them experienced mountain climbers. But that wasn't going to stop Jordan as he pushed to reach the summit at the age of 13 years old. Well, I think this will be a very exciting book for you and one that you will enjoy reading as we look at conquering the force of will and determination and pushing against all odds. This will make an excellent book for all of us to read. I hope you enjoy it. I sure am. My name is, well, you know my name, and I'm here to teach you about science. Now we have a guest, Jerome Woodson here. He's going to say a little poem for you. It's all about weathering, erosion, and deposition. Hit it, Jerome. Weathering breaks a rock, erosion carries it away, deposition drops it off to stay until it erodes again someday. Have a great day, Panthers. 